Welcome on down to a another meme tutorial, fellow dancers and new players alike. What's going on? Hey, if you're here, you either came here from YouTube search, which welcome to the channel, or you came here from my ROMs BIOS chid tutorial video. Uh, this is what I'm going to call the abridged version because I felt like I kind of yammered on too much in that other video. So if you're just looking for how to do stuff, we're going to get around to that. So this is a tutorial on how to install ROMs, BIOS, and chids without all the extra background information. So uh, for BIOS and ROMs, um, it's pretty much straightforward. All you do is you just take them and drop them in whatever your ROMs folder is. So you just roll up into your ROMs folder. And boop. I, I had those as copies, but you know, you just drop them in there and boom, there you go. Um, if you want a quick way to check and make sure that your ROMs installed, because you know, MAME can be tricky, just pull up your whatever version of MAME here. Make sure you're set to all games. We threw in aliens just there, as you saw. So we just go aliens and let that do its thing. And there you go. That was uh, simple enough, I'd imagine. And if you want to test your BIOS, that's going to be a little bit more tricky because um, you'd have to know what. I'm assuming if you're downloading a BIOS, you're already knew, know what game you're looking for but like let's just say for instance you want to see if your uh, neo geo works okay let's just type in metal slug since that's a well-known uh one and there you go um you can you can do the good old thing where you push f5 to refresh but that can take a while i know some versions of meme are like that others it just takes a while others update as you go it's memes really a wild west type deal here um now the big one chids uh everybody's lovely that chd so if you're looking to install a chid um these will come usually either as a dot rar or a 7zip file i have 7z myself i use that for pretty much all that stuff um extracting zip files extracting uh you know rar 7z's i'll i'll put a link to uh, 7zip in the description below if you don't have that already so what you're going to do is after you extract your uh, 7zip or rar file um you want to make a folder now this folder has to be lined up with whatever the name of the rom that you were installing this shit for is so make sure you do that like for instance we have area 51 right here this is lined up with Area 51. If I wanted Area 51 MX, I would have to have Area 51 M MX. I don't have that currently. And then what you do is in the folder, just make sure you you pull out all your chid files. Don't rename them. I don't. You don't have to rename them because Mame's gonna look for Area 51.chd. The folder has to be matched up with whatever the uh, ROM is that goes with it. But uh, the chid files inside, just leave them as is. And again, just run your test. Uh, go into the ROM. You know, go into your emulator, type in the uh, game that you're looking for, like, you know, Carnival or whatever. And then, there you go. And I know it can get tricky. I've heard word that, like, you need your chids to be matched up with the exact ROM version. But as you just saw there, um, we have the wrong one. We have the two different versions of Carnival. I mean, again, it will always, you know, meme will always give you the info on what you need for that as well so um that's that's pretty much it i mean that, that's really all there is to it as far as installing memes and memes <laughs> we'll get the meme eventually <laughs> installing roms bios and jids um if you're having problems uh it could be a multitude of problems um it really uh when you start running into issues with meme uh, especially ROMs, things get stupid complicated stupidly fast. Like it could just be the site you downloaded was a bad dump file. It could be that uh, the ROMs you downloaded for for a different ROM set because those are a thing. And so that's why MAME isn't reading it because your ROM set version is different from the ROM set that you're using. And then if you're using the official MAME update, there's like an update at ROM set and it just 
it's a headache. So that's why you'll see me having these th four different versions of MAME. You got the official release and these three other ones. I just have those all on my computer. They're all extracted slash installed into the same directory. So they all share their settings and ROM files and ROM paths and all that stuff. Uh, if you're looking for the ones I have, it's whatever the recent version of MAME is. I don't really use that one. So if you ask me any questions, I'll do my research and see what I can do. Uh, and then you have MAME UI 64, MAME UI FX 64, and MAME UI High Score 64, those exact versions, which I believe are like the most recent versions I can find, but I'll throw them to you anyways. We have MAME UI 64 0 0.161, April 29th, 2015. Uh, see, that's still going, by the way. I, I hadn't I haven't edited that out. Anyways, MAME UI FX 64 0 0.160.1, 0 .1, March 27th, 2015. And MAME UI High Score 64 0 0.155 October 17th, 2014. If there are updated versions of these, feel free to let me know and I'll check those out and uh, see what's up. And that's pretty much it. That, that, literally, that's, that's it. it. It's just dragging and dropping. There you go. And then for chids, I know sometimes chids can be a little confusing because when I uh, first dove into those, the information was a little, you know, difficult for whatever reason to find. But that's really all you need to do. It's pretty, like, one of the more simpler, aside from when you have problems, but, like, just the process itself is very uh, simple. So that's it. We are, I am planning on rolling out more uh, MAME tutorials as well. Like, just go over basic stuff like settings and installing and, you know, simple things to kind of get y'all started on that if you want to do that or just kind of seeing how I set up and do things because... MAME is what I use mainly in my arcade appreciation series, as well as some other fun stuff. I know we keep saying that, and that never happens, but real life just loves to get in the way. So that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching and listening to my yammering. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button and become a Ling Ling Dazzler. And if you're interested in financially supporting the channel, there's Patreon, Ko-fi, all that fun stuff in the description down below. Like, if you're starting a YouTube channel, there's this thing in my links called TubeBuddy. It's really cool. It can help you, like, find tags to rank high in your video. Definitely should check it out. Hey, like, do it. Do it now. Do it. That's an affiliate link, by the way. Anyways, <laughs> uncomfortable signs aside, thank you, Dazzlers, for uh, sticking to it at the end. I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.